Hi students, in this session I am going to teach you tricks to learn 4 important reactions from inorganic chemistry. Uh, after many days I am teaching uh, you know uh, on paper and uh, by using paper and pen method. Uh, uh, let's uh, because I am missing this uh, model of teaching that's why today uh, I am going to teach you. Uh, let's see what are these 4 different reactions and how to do those uh, uh, reactions. For example non-metals if you observe non-metals non-metals you know like uh, p4 phosphorus and sulfur halogens so these non-metals uh, we can uh, do a reaction with a basis like arrhenius base arrhenius arrhenius base like uh, we can use naoh KOH, you can use these bases or we can use some salts like basic salt like Na2CO3 or K2CO3. Uh, with this, halogen reacts. Okay, halogen reacts with both two types of reactions you are going to learn halogen with NaOH or KOH or Na2CO3, K2CO3, uh, P4 and sulfur. Uh, phosphorus and sulfur, you, you are going to learn reaction with NaOH and KOH. Okay, total four different reactions you are going to learn. When you are when, when you treat with this, what are the products here? Disproportionation reaction takes place. Disproportionation reaction takes place. Do you understand? Which reaction takes place my dear students? Disproportionation reaction. What do you mean by this disproportionation reaction is, uh, you know, one element from, for example, this is in phosphorus. Phosphorus is in zero oxidation state. So, this element goes to lower oxidation state as well as a higher oxidation state. Same element goes from lower and higher oxidation state. Here, sulfur also zero in oxidation state. X2 also zero oxidation state. These element changes from lower oxidation. Two products we get. One is with lower oxidation state. One with the higher oxidation state. First, I will tell you what is this. Uh, lower oxidation state for phosphorus phosphorus uh, nitrogen family right so general configuration I will write here NS2 NP3 total how many electrons it is having in the valence shell total 2 plus 3 5 electrons so if it gains 3 electrons so total number of electrons becomes 8 that, so it shows minus 3 uh, state sulfur uh, its configuration is NS2, NP4, 6 electrons it is having in the valence shell. If it gains 2 electrons, so it shows, uh, uh, it gets a stability, so minus 2. And halogens, uh, they will be having NS2, NP5 configuration, 7 electrons if it gain 1 electron. So, uh, minus 1 it shows. What are the minimum oxidation states they can show? Can you repeat? Phosphorus minus 3. Sulfur minus 2, halogen minus 1. Okay. Now, what I want to tell you is P4, when it reacts with a base like NaOH, do you know what is the product? Two products we'll get. Okay. One product is with lower oxidation state, one product with higher oxidation state than 0, which that, that's called disproportionation reaction. Lower oxidation state is minus 3. Phosphorus with minus 3 hydride is pH3. In this phosphorus is minus 3. Okay. Sulfur, if you treat with NaOH, will be getting minus 3, minus, which one? Minus 2 oxidation state. Correct. So, hydride of sulfur with minus 2 oxidation state is H2S. And then, halogen, it is when you treat with NaOH, it's, you know, oxidation state with a minus 1 is HX. Easy. Up to here is a clear. Now, what I am going to do is, this is, uh, you know, basic hydride. This is acidic hydride. And this is also acidic hydride. Ba this, ba this is base. This is also base. This is, pH3 is a base. This is also base. So, so there will be no reaction. But this is acidic. This is basic. So, there will be reaction between these two. And neutralization takes place. So, acid and this base reacts. We get a salt. What is that salt? How to write is, remove this hydrogens and you put right sodium. So, Na2S will be your product. Got it? 
Is a clear same way NaOH is a base here. HX is an acid. Can you tell me what can be the salt? Will be H you remove and what you have to write Na. So our products will be in a first case PH three is you know base and there will be no reaction. And the second case will be getting Na two S and in the third case will be getting NaX. If it is a chlorine NaCl. If it is a bromine NaBr. If it is a iodine NaI. Got the clarity? Is a clear? This is what reduction product with a lower oxidation state. Same one more product will form with a higher oxidation state. Let's see how to find out those products. Okay, first I'll start with the sulfur because phosphorus in a exceptional case in a different product will form. That's why many times question asked from the phosphorus. First, let me explain you sulfur halogen. Then I'll teach you phosphorus. Okay, sulfur. S8 it reacts with NaOH you all got the clarity first it forms H2S it is acidic in nature and undergo neutralization and forms a salt okay now in the same way sulfur sulfur reacts with NaOH you are getting Na2S with a lower oxidation state at the reduction product at the same time an oxidation product will be getting the oxidation product is uh, you know with the same oxidation state this is with a minus 2 oxidation state H2S at the same time one product is with a positive oxidation state that is H2S2O3 this is what thiosulfuric acid what is this thiosulfuric acid in this average oxidation state of sulfur is plus 2 okay this is also acid and this this uh, this NaOH is a base again same way both reacts and forms salt so what is that salt replace those two hydrogens with a sodium so Na2S2O3 where oxidation state of sulfur is plus 2 this is our product one second blur is coming now uh -huh. okay now clear This is one reaction. E C S8 reacts with NaOH. What are the products? Na2S, Na2S2O3. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to uh, do the reaction with X2. When X2 reacts with NaOH, then what you will be getting? First, uh, disproportionation. As I told you, non-metals reacts with NaOH, basic medium. It undergo disproportionation reaction. Two products. One is lower oxidation state, that is HX. I told you. Another one the, in this minus one oxidation state. At the same time, plus one oxidation state. What is a plus one oxidation state? HXO, hypohalous acid. Hypohalous acid. In this halogen oxidation state is plus 1. Okay. And here what is the problem with this is. If. Uh, th this is this is also acid. This is also acid. This acid. This also acid. This is a base right. As I told you. Neutralization reaction takes place. We have to remove that. You know it reacts with a base like NaOH. And we will be getting NaX our product. At the same time here also. NaXO is a product. So in, in, in textbook they will give this only. When X2 reacts with NaOH. We get NaX and NaXO. These are the products. Clear. Clearly, I am explaining you every topic, you know, every point clearly I am explaining you. If suppose, uh, here the problem is, if you maintain this cold condition, okay, and this is a reaction. But under hot conditions, what happens is, whatever the HXO formed, it is in plus 1 oxidation state, right? Again, it undergo disproportionation reaction, like two different oxidation state, one with minus 1 and one with a plus 1. Uh, sorry, one with a plus 5 oxidation state, disproportionation, disproportionation reaction. In which condition? Hot condition. So, in hot condition, what are the products? Uh, you can write X2 reacts with NaOH. This is also acidic. This is, you know, HX like HCl, HBr, HA. This is HXO3, halic acid, like chloric acid, bromic acid and all. Huh. So, NaOH, it reacts. In hot condition, what are the products? Can you tell me? HX. H, H plus what you can put? NaX. Because this is an acid. This is a base. Both react. Salt will form. Here also H plus Na will form. NaXO3. So here I gave you clarity about how many reactions. This is. This is one reaction. 
halogen reacts with NaOH cold condition two products NaX NaXO hot condition how many products students uh, two two uh, one is NaX NaXO three in this plus five condition plus five state here minus one state disproportionation reaction and when it reacts with the sulfur sulfur and phosphorus can't react in cold condition these are always hot condition okay sulfur and phosphorus both are in hot condition only up to here you learnt now phosphorus many times this question is coming in examination i'll tell you the reason why you know paper setters show the interest over that question because it is an exceptional case why it is an exceptional case for example p4 is it clear mm. p4 when it is reacting with NaOH, disproportionation reaction takes place. We will be getting two products. What are those two products? We will be getting like one is uh, PH3 basic hydride. This is base. This is a base. That is why there is no change. Okay. Same product you will be getting. And here one more product. This is minus 3. See this is minus 3 means reduction product. Oxidation state product also plus. It should be plus 3. Because sulfur case you got minus 2 reduction product, oxidation product plus 2. Halogen case minus 1 reduction product, oxidation product plus, plus 1. But here is a different case. Actually we should get H3PO3 where phosphorus oxidation state is plus 3. But this is not the product. That is why this is one of the exceptional case. What will be the product here is instead of H3PO3 we will be getting you know the product like I will write this is a, what H3PO2 H3PO2 where oxidation state of phosphorus is plus 1. But this is also acidic in nature because one of the H plus ion connected to the oxygen. So this will react with any of this is also acid, this is also acid, so uh, this is also acid, this is a base. So both react, salt will form. You have to remove this H plus with Na and you know you have to write the product NaH2PO2. So, tell me the overall reaction students. P4 reacts with, see P4 reacts with NaOH. So, what are the products? First forms PH3. In other cases, sulfur H2S, uh, halogen HX, but those will be replaced by the sodium. But here it is not replaced by the sodium. Okay, that's why you should not feel difficulty in this reaction. And another product is Na. H2PO2 sodium hydrogen phosphide. So, in this oxidation state of phosphorus is plus 1, in this minus 3. Unequal number. In remaining cases, equal number. This is a disproportionation reaction. Is it clear? Now, I am going to, this is a reaction number 4. Now, I am going to give you test yourself questions. Let us see those questions. See, complete the following reactions. You have to write the product. P4 reacts with NaOH. What is the product? You write. S8 reacts with NaOH. What are the products? Chlorine reacts with, you know, these two. No need to mention hot condition because they always react in hot condition. But chlorine or iodine or, uh, you know, bromine, we have to mention hot or cold because they react in both the conditions. Whereas fluorine, we, uh, you know, it don't undergo any disproportionation reaction because fluorine can, uh, you know, fluorine can show minus one oxidation state reduction. But fluorine can't show positive oxidation state that's why only this halogen reaction with this is only chlorine bromine and iodine my name is komali i am your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video uh, whatever the test yourself questions i have given you i will uh, give you the answer in the next video thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video if you want like this you know many tricks if you want to learn like many concepts if you want to learn you know in a systematic manner if you want to learn chemistry i am taking online classes also if you want to join into the courses which I am taking, you know, if you want to learn entire chemistry in an excellent manner, you can contact to my WhatsApp number and if you send your 10 mark sheet and photocopy, I will give you the details of the coming batches. You can enroll into that. You can excel in chemistry. See you in the next video. Bye all of you.